G'day guys, it's Nick here from Wicked Wildlife again. And uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about venomous snakes here in Australia. Throughout the world we're pretty famous for having the most venomous snakes on earth. We've got the top 10, we've got the vast majority of the top 20. But does this really mean we've got the most dangerous snakes on earth? And the short answer is no we don't. You see, all of our snakes combined result in about 3,000 people a year going to hospital through snake bite in Australia. About 300 of those require anti-venom. And between one and three people you lose their lives to snake bite here in Australia. Now, when we go overseas, compare this to India. In India alone, 5,000 people a year lose their lives to snake bite. Now, if our snakes are so significantly more venomous than any of the snakes overseas, why do ours kill so few people and overseas so many people lose their lives? And it comes down to a couple of serious differences. The first one is location. You see, the most venomous snake on earth, which is this girl here, this is Slud, our inland or western typhoon, or fear snake, depending what you want to call it. Uh, she's the most venomous snake on earth. One bite from her has enough venom to kill about a million mice or 189 human beings. Now, as far as location goes, she lives in the middle of nowhere. You see, since European settlement, there has not been a single death from the inland typhoon. The bites that have happened have almost all taken place in captivity and the handful that have happened in the wild have been people who are searching for snakes. They're out there studying them or catching them, collecting them. Uh, they're not bitten when they're walking to church on Sunday morning. They're encountering this animal on purpose. Now, compare this to countries where lots of people do lose their lives to snake bite. Uh, the snake that kills the most people in the world, the source guard viper, it's found over half the planet. It's found in third world countries where people have to spend large amounts of time walking through the bush in remote tracks to gather food and water to just go about their daily lives. So their location and the location of the snake means that they come into contact with these snakes more often than we do here in Australia. So location goes a long way towards making a snake dangerous. The other big thing is culture. You see here in Australia we're fortunate that all of our snakes have the same first aid. Any snake in Australia, if you're bitten by it, you should be wrapping it up with a compression bandage and getting to hospital. Better to go to hospital, find out it's not venomous, than uh, you know, run into trouble up down the track. Now, Slug here, in fact, came into our care after her last owner was bitten. Three weeks later, he's out of hospital and is okay. So, might be the most venomous snake in the world, but we're very fortunate. Now, overseas, particularly countries like India, Sri Lanka, Papua New Guinea is another one. When people are bitten by snakes, the first thing they do in these countries is often go to the witch doctor or the local shaman. They, they resort to old wives' tales before they seek medical care, which is only delaying things. Add to the fact that in these countries, they're often further away from medical assistance than we are in Australia. Uh, these cultural differences mean that there's going to be a lot more people lose their lives to snake bite. So when you put it this way, one to three Australians a year losing their lives to snakes compared to 5,000 Indians, uh, we, I don't think we can really lay claim to the most dangerous snakes on earth. If we're going to talk about dangerous animals here in Australia, six Australians a year lose their lives from dogs. 23 Australians lose their lives from horses. I think having the most venomous snakes in the world might be a bragging right, but as far as the most dangerous snakes on earth goes, we don't have that one, guys. So stay away from these guys. They'll stay away from us. They're not going to be that dangerous. So in the meantime, Follow our YouTube channel guys for more wildlife videos to keep up to date with where we're doing shows, birthdays, kindergartens, fates, fairs, all this sort of stuff. Follow us on Facebook or look us up at www.wickedwildlife.com. There's plenty more coming on guys. Have a good one.